All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, helmets in nightlight. Let me quickly summarize the question for you. Uh, what this question says is, uh, we have to share an announcement to end residents of a village. And the way it's going to work is, first this chief, this pack Senek, is going to announce directly to one or more residents with a cost of P for each person. So, of course, it's important to note that if he can share directly to one or more residents, he can also inform all the residents of the village. So, that's one observation. After that, uh, the residents can share the announcement to other residents. So, what then, like, first this chief will share it to some of the residents, either one or more. and then each resident can share this announcement like of course if this resident has been shared an announcement once each resident has a capacity like he can share to at most ai number of other residents with a cost of bi for each share so i'll just quickly show an example so here let's say n is six right so we have to all in all make an announcement to six people and this p equals to three means uh, if chief decides to announce to some person to some resident then it will cost three the way it's going to work is this chief going to announce to one of them right chief is going to announce one or more than one or more and then those guys can again uh, announce to other persons and uh, what these numbers are, so this two, like this first array, they have, I guess, called it A and the second array, they have called B. But uh, what it simply means is, this is a capacity. First resident can uh, announce to at most two resident with a cost of four per announcement. Of course, this two has to be announced, right? So this guy has to be announced. For example, here, this three means is, if this resident has been announced, like if this resident has the information, then he can, and then he can announce to at most three other residents, uh, three other residents with a cost of six per announcement. Right, so I guess question is pretty clear. First, the chief is going to announce to the residents with a cost of P per share. And then if a resident is announced, if a resident has that announcement, he has a capacity, like at most how many residents he can uh, inform with the cost of each announcement given. Right, so the question is here. Okay, so what next? Like, how do you think about this question? Now, it's a, of course, a greedy problem, right? So you'll have to make some observations here. The first observation anyway you can make here is if the chief directly announces to all the residents, uh, then... Uh, the total cost will be uh, simply n into p right because the chief only decided to announce all of them but this may not be optimal and this like it's very easy to see why because one of the resident let's say uh, has a very less cost but a very high capacity right so let's say here only this guy has a very high capacity 10 but the cost was very less let's say one so anyway it makes sense you just announce to this guy and he will announce the rest of them so the strategy of the chief announcing to all of them is not good so here's how like what we have so i'll just quickly write it down so what we have is we have to all in all uh, announce n residents right so total uh, initially we have not announced anyone so we have to total in total announce n residents and there is this p given what is this p this p is the cost of announcement by chief okay and what do we have uh, the way that array is given is we have two things we have capacity capacity means how many maximum residents this guy uh, this nth resident this ith resident can inform to so the capacity is given like this a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on right so maybe till the n n okay so we have capacity here and then what next we have cost so even is the capacity of the first resident how many maximum residents he can inform and cost is uh, what is the cost of uh, like cost per share so this is given by b1 right so b1 b2 b3 b4 and so on till bn right so this is what we have okay things first you have to announce at least one resident right uh, so like before like that uh, that a resident can share announcement to other resident uh like internally the resident can share information to other you have to at least share announcement to one of the resident so one observation is very clear that your cost will be greater than equals to p right uh, because you have to announce at least one resident so cost is greater than equals to p after then what so which resident should you pick like uh, what like what comes to your mind so we want to minimize the cost right this is important we want to minimize this cost so what do you think which resident picking which resident makes most sense of course the one which is which has the lowest cost per share right so Let's just uh, sort this. Let us assume uh, this array is sorted by cost. Why sorted by cost? Because we wanted to minimize the cost. So I thought let's just sort the array by uh, sort the array by cost and make the input more amenable, right? So here, what is the beauty about this input is now I'm assuming always that this array is sorted. That is what I what do I mean? This b1 is less than equals to b2 is less than equals to b3 so on less than equals to bn, right? It makes uh, makes things easy to look, look at because I want to minimize the cost. I'm always I'm always looking at the residents with a lower cost first, right? Initially, I have to inform one resident. Which resident should that be? Of course, the one with the lowest cost, right? So, of course, you'll pick this guy. Why not this? Uh, like, why are you completely sure this guy only? You pick any one of them. You pick any one of them. They can give you more cost, right? So, what can happen is, guys, see what I'm saying is, if you pick this guy, now what you have is in the next try when you want to inform the second resident, you have two options right b1 and p right initially you had to spend p but now since you have chosen this guy b1 you have two options b1 and p right but if you would have chosen any one of the other residents you would have here like any one of these right any one of the bj here any one of the bj here for j greater than equals to 2 
you are definitely sure this bj is greater than this b1 but why do you want that you want to minimize the cost right you want to minimize the cost you want this guy you want your candidates to be as less as possible that's why it was b1 right so it makes sense right why did i choose the why did i choose the resident with the lowest cost so initially you have to choose the guy with the lowest cost okay fine so i chose this guy now there are two cases uh, either this b1 can be less than equals to p or this b1 can be greater than p now if b1 is greater than p that is the resident that you chose uh, the cost was greater than p what it automatically means is this all of all of these are also greater than p right why because this b2 is greater than b1 b3 is greater than b2 b4 is greater than uh, greater than equals to but fine you got the point so if b1 is greater than p all of them are greater than p right so it makes uh, like it makes no sense for residents to internally uh, inform each other because this p is less than all of them if p is less than all of the cost it's obvious that you just uh, inform all the residents you use by chief only it's better for the chief to inform all the resident by by himself only right so the total cost will be p into n but if uh, let's say this is not the case i guess you got it right so if the smallest cost if the smallest cost per share is less than p is a, like smallest cost per share is greater than p then all these residents are like not much fruitful to us they will not minimize the cost i am better off just informing all the resident by p only <laughs> right so that, that is a very uh, obvious thing okay but let's uh, let just like so this observation is fine right so if the smallest cost so i'll write it here if the smallest cost and maybe write it more aptly if b min if b min is if b min is greater than p if b min is greater than p if the smallest cost itself the smallest cost per share is itself greater than p then you are better off then your answer is simply n into p right you are better off informing uh, like the chief is better off informing all the rest by, by himself but what if it is not the case uh, then uh, let's just take the second case then b1 is uh, less than equals to p if b1 is less than uh, less than equals to p if it is equal again uh, then like doesn't really matter you can still uh, if b1 is less than equals to p again the same thing happens right so if it is greater than equals to p same thing happens because the smallest cost is less than equals to p so anyway you can still like the chief is better off informing all the residents himself but interesting case would be uh, where this b1 this b1 is less than p now this will be an interesting case now since a resident uh, can inform other resident with less cost of course you want to utilize that of course you want to utilize that right so now what you have you have two options b1 and p b1 and p but this b1 is less of course you are going to pick this b1 right so let's just say I pick this B1. So I'll pick this B1, right? I'll try to inform as many residents with this guy as possible. Why? Because I have a benefit, right? Why, why, why do I want to choose this P? It has more cost. So I would try to be greedy here, right? I try to be greedy here and inform as many residents as possible uh, with B1 cost. How many can I do? I have a limit, right? I have a limit of even. At most, I can only inform two residents. And again, uh, like intuitively, which two residents those should be? Again, B2 and B3, right? So the one with the least cost. Because you want, you want b2 and like now your candidates will be b2 b3 and p now what are possible combinations of b2 b3 and p now now one thing is for sure you know that that b2 is less than b3 of course less than equals to but let's just say for we can handle equals to case very easily so b2 is less than uh, b3 okay so where can p lie uh, p can either lie here p can either lie here or b can lie here so what i'm saying is uh, it can be something like this p is less than b2 less than b3 or b p is greater than b2 less than b3 and what is the last case uh, the last case is b2 less than b3 less than p so these are the possible cases right so that's uh, it about it now if p is less than all of them the same kind of case right so what you have what you have effectively done is now you have this array and these are the possible cost and now the same logic right so whatever we have done till now uh, when we had this only two costs okay when we had only two of this cost available on this on this array of size n minus one now we have the same story in the array in this remaining array but now candidate costs are like this Do, are you getting me so what we effectively did is when we made a choice here what we effectively now boiled down the question to now this is our array and these are the possible candidate costs right and now these are the possible combination that can have so what are you going to choose here if p2 is less than uh, all of them then of course uh, this is the case right so so if it is something like this then this is the case right so you are going to simply choose p only for the remaining guys so this case is fine so right now I'm not thinking of the code, I'm just thinking of the strategy. Once I figure out the strategy, the code will be very simple. Okay, so fine. So this is fine. If P is somewhere in the middle, then uh, P is somewhere in the middle, then uh, of course you are going to try to inform as many residents as possible with this B2, right? Again, uh, let's just say you inform these two or somewhere. The next two, right? The next next two minimums. And you inform them. Now inform, uh, like then you'll inform uh, those two, right? So that will be that. B4 and B5 coming into picture next time onwards, right? So this B2 is gone. B3 is anywhere out of the picture because it is greater than P. B4, B5 and uh, P, right? From the next time onwards, but anyway, you can see uh, since P is less than B3, P will be less than B4 and B5. 
So all in all, from the next time, you only have P as an option. Right? I guess you got it. So what I'm saying is, uh, if you chose, B, if P was somewhere in the middle, B2 less than P less than B3, then you can only inform the can residents with this cost B2. And uh, you will inform, of course, the ones with the less, least possible cost, but that will be B4 and B5, B4 and B5. But since you know that P is less than B3, P will be less than this one. So from the next one, only P cost uh, will prevail. Okay, fine. Let's just see the last case. You will inform as many res residents as possible as B2 and B3. Right? So let's just say again, 2, 2 came, 2, 2 comes. So B4, B5 comes for uh, this B2. And let's say B6, B7 comes for B3. And now you again have to verify, uh, you again have to pick the one uh, with the minimum cost. So what is the strategy here? What, what am I doing every time? You observe one thing. Uh, what I'm doing is every time, every time I'm paying a resident with least cost per share and trying to inform, like I'm, I'm being greedy here. I'm, I'll pick a resident with the least possible cost per share and inform as many residents as possible from it. Initially, I had no option, right? Initially, I only had one option. I had to inform one resident, right? So that I'll do initially. So what I'm saying is I'll inform one resident the cost P, but from then onwards, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to pick the resident with the least possible cost, with the least possible cost, right? But you might say, Kathan, then, uh, how are you going to consider this case when P is less than, right? So how are you going to consider the case where P is less than all of them? So what I can do is, see, I'll inform one resident, fine. So I'll inform one resident. So now initially, let's say I've informed one resident and my cost has now become P. From next time onwards, for the remaining N minus one, what do I have? I want to pick a resident with the minimum possible cost per share and try to inform as many possible, right? Try to inform as many residents as possible. In this case, it was B1, so I chose P1. But if it was P, I should have a way to inform all the residents, right? So what I'll do is I'll insert a special resident here. I'll insert a special resident and uh, whose cost is p and the capacity is very big because chief can uh, if some point of time if chief has the least possible cost per share if chief has the least possible cost per share if chief uh, in this case right so in this case also if uh, p was less than b1 if chief has at some point least possible cost per share what i can do is i can inform all the remaining right so i'll insert a special resident after informing one resident which has a very high capacity let's n plus one or one n doesn't really matter so okay again i'll repeat myself again the strategy is Pick a resident with the least possible cost per share every time. Why? Because it is making sure I'm minimizing the cost. But initially, anyway, I have to call, anyway, I have to inform one resident. So initially, yeah, total like initially inform one resident with the cost of P. For the remaining N minus one resident, what I'll do is, since I know P can also be the minimum cost per share, P can also be minimum cost per share. I'll insert a special resident with a very high capacity because if some point, if P is the minimum possible cost available, of course, inform all of them, right? So I'll insert a special resident with a very high capacity and the cost being P. Right, the question is done and dusted here. Question is done and dusted here. So if I want to write the pseudo code here, uh, initially the total resident informed is one. The total cost is p. The total cost is p. While this total, until you have not informed n residents, what are you gonna do is what are you gonna do is and now of course in my capacity area I'm gonna insert a special resident with a very high capacity. Let's say n plus one. This can be any number greater than n. Right, n plus one and his cost is p. Right. So uh, along with all other residents, you have a special resident uh, which can inform many like a lot of residents with the cost P. And here, pick the resident, pick the resident with lowest possible, lowest possible cost per share. Right. So that is a pseudo code. And this is how it will. I hope you got the greedy idea here. Uh, I could have shown you the solution in five minutes, but how do you reach to the greedy idea, right? So that was the main intention of this video. Let's just quickly see the code and uh, we'll wrap it up. Okay, guys, um, let's code up the solution. Now, I've just taken the input here. And first thing first, what we need is we need to get uh, like capacity and cost mapping somehow, right? Because uh, what we're doing is every time we are trying to pick up a resident uh, with the least possible cost per share. So just create a vector of a uh, pair of long long. Uh, by long long, uh, just to be safe, right? For constraints. And here, uh, the first things first, I have to add that uh, you can say, a resident basically i'm just adding the chief here right so chief has a cost per share of p and uh, it can be a very big number here the capacity is very big but fine let's just keep it in plus one right so that is good now what we need to do is now let's just populate this cost and capacity area right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just go through all the residents so this uh, entry is for the chief right so this is a resident uh, with the maximum like the cost per share being p and the capacity and plus one. i'm just gonna add all the residents here less than n a plus plus and uh, cost cap so cost to capacity mapping but push back i'll use make pair here but you can maybe just simply use curly brackets and uh, here it will be b of i and e of i right? because b stores the uh, cost per share and ei is the capacity that is fine and now i'm just going to sort it why because i want to pick a resident with the lowest possible cost cost uh, per share so just sort right so just sort it the array now uh, what next initially i have to inform one resident so total number of residents that are informed is one uh, the cost that is incurred is p right i have to inform one, one resident and that cost incurred will be p fine and what i need to do is i need to uh, pick a resident lowest possible cost until we until the total is not uh, become n right so if total becomes n then fine we need to stop 
Okay, I guess in the video I wrote total less than equals to n, but you got the point, right? Until it is not becoming n, uh, we will take a rest in the lowest possible cost, right? So I'll start uh, with the zeroth index, right? So basically, I'm just gonna go through this cost capacity area, right? I'm gonna pick the resident in the least possible cost. That's my main idea. Okay, so first thing, uh, let's just figure out how many uh, residents are left to be informed. It is simply n minus two, right? That is fine. And now, what I need to check is area of index, not area, uh, cost capacity, cost capacity of index dot second. Uh, what is this? This is the capacity of the least possible, like first uh, cost cap of, cost cap of index is the resident with the lowest possible cost per share and dot second is its capacity. So if it is less than equal to left, then of course, using this resident only, we can inform all the other residents. So in this case, my total uh, will be equal to area of uh, total plus equals to cost cap of index dot second. Now, what is this? Uh, if uh, the capacity of current resident, the low, lowest possible we have picked up is less than equal left, just uh, try to inform as many residents as possible, right? And uh, what is the cost? The cost will be cost plus uh, cost cap, uh, cost cap of index dot first into uh, one LL, uh, one LL just to make sure that all the calculations happen long long. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because everything I'm taking in long long. But anyway, uh, and then cost cap of index dot second, right? So I'm just multiplying, uh, I'm just multiplying this guy, the capacity with the cost per share, right? So first is cost per share and this is how many residents I'm going to fine. And if it is not less than, um, then what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean? Now we can inform all the residents. So here, totally. So this is the case when uh, the current residents capacity is higher than remaining. So higher than remaining, right? So in that case, just inform all the remaining residents and cost will be cost plus whatever are left into one LL because left is integer, right? So left into one LL into cost cap, cost cap of index dot First, what is first? Uh, first is the cost per share, right? And at that, and in the end, I can just uh, increment the index every time. So, that is, I'm gonna start from the uh, resident the least possible cost per share, and I'm gonna pick pick that resident. If it is possible, if it is possible to inform uh, uh, with its entire capacity, I'm gonna do it. Or if it can inform more than remaining, then I'm still gonna do it. Right? So, this I guess pretty simple. Not much here I'm doing. And then in the end, uh, we can just print out the cost. Yeah, so I've run it, and it seems to be working. Let me just quickly submit it and see. Networks, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.